One thing, I don't think Adam would be too pleased to find out his right-hand man botched up this whole situation with Dr. Snow. After all, he was trying to turn his wife into a walking vegetable. He'll blacklist you from here to Singapore, so Believe me, living on welfare is a real drag. Well, let's get something straight here. If I do decide to help you guys, it's not going to be because you're terrified. You got that? No, that's not enough. I need something very positive. I need something tangible. Do you have anything to offer, Sam? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. The only thing you really care about, money. I never thought in the, in the middle of so much sadness that I could feel so joyous in that. Yeah, well, good for you. You know something, Tad is not going to stop fighting Adam until you've got your baby back. And this whole family's behind you. Did you ever think, when we were in Pitch Hollow, did you ever think that we would know the love of a family like this? That was our dream, huh? Yeah. Come to Pine Valley, find Uncle Pete. And Laney, too. Oh, we've been on a roll. Yeah. We've been lucky thus far. Yeah. There's no reason for it to stop. So what say you and I go into the kitchen, get a bite to eat, and turn in, huh? Oh, well, I'd be great, but it's a, it's a little late for me to eat. And actually, I was, I was thinking about going to walk. Uh-huh. You want to talk to me about something? No. Six. It's the baby, okay? It's just, it's just night time. It's, it's the worst time for missing it. All right, well, I got my coat. I'll go with you, huh? No, really, that's okay. You, you go on up to bed, I'll be fine. Dixie. Come on. Talk to me. I don't want you to come, okay? I'm going over to Chandler's place. <laughs> no, you're not. You can't go near that place. Yes, I can, and it's going to be fine. I'm just going to take a walk on the ground. Ah, uh, Dixie. It will be fine. Trust me. The nurse, she, she brings the baby sometimes to the window. She does that sometimes when he wakes up in the middle of the night. And I figured, you know, at least I can see him if I can't hold yeah, him. But why do you even do this to yourself? It just makes it harder on you. Well, a glimpse of him is better than nothing at all. All right. I'm going to go up and read. So if you want to talk to me, come back. I'll be here. Thanks. You're the yeah. best brother in the wild. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Everything all right in here? You bet. Yeah, everything's great. I'm just about to turn in myself. All right, I'll see you in the morning, bright and early. Yeah, yeah, six o'clock breakfast, I know all about it. <laughs> Good night. Good night. I was hoping that I could talk to you privately if, if you're not too tired. Oh, no, I'm fine. In fact, I was going to take a walk. Oh. Well, you can spare me a couple of minutes. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> we all have a lot to thank Tad for. He has been a very good friend to you, but I don't think we should mistake friendship for, for love. Well, I'm not. I truly do love Ted, and I'm going to make him a wonderful wife. Oh, well, it's not your integrity that I'm questioning, no. I, I feel that I should warn you about Ted. Well, I don't think that's necessary. You've been very cruelly hurt by Adam, and I don't want to see that happen again. But see, Ted will never hurt me. Now, Ted is what he is, a completely amoral man. Well, he has a modicum of charm, but he doesn't know the first thing about love. Uh, he will devote himself to you until he has you, and then he'll be out grazing on other pastures. Look, I understand what you're trying to say, and I know that's how Tad has acted in the past. But he's talked to me, and he's told me he hasn't been able to be faithful to anybody else, but he said with me it's different. Well, I'm sure he said that to all the women in his life. No, I don't think so. I believe Tad. I believe what he said. Mm -hmm. So did poor Hillary. He... Oh, she was just a young innocent, just like you. And he said he was be devoted to her all of his life, and they got married. And within a few short months, why, he was sneaking around, bedding Sky Chan. Mm -hmm. She was devastated. Well, I don't want that to happen to you, and instinctively I feel that it will. Well, I don't think so, and I'm sorry. I really don't want to talk about this anymore. Look, right? I'm just trying to save you the pain. You know, the, the engagement was made very hastily. Really, I think that you... I understand, okay? I understand. Please, let's just not talk about it anymore. Dixie. I Dixie. don't want to talk about it. I will not have that gumshoe in my family. Just how much are you prepared to pay? Depends on how much proof you're prepared to put in my hands. 
As a matter of fact, I'll bet you could give me an earful right now, couldn't you? Wrong. What you don't know, you could find out. Let's say I search and I search, and I don't come up with anything. What's my time worth to you? Nada. Come on, Sean. You're his right-hand man. I wouldn't be surprised if you had the combination to his safe. Look, you're the only one that can give us what we need. You've got us over a barrel, and I know it. And I'm prepared to pay big time. Dad, you couldn't rub two nickels together with what you make at that two-bit detective agency. Well, I'd be willing to venture that I make almost as much as you do licking Adam's shoes, but I've got other resources. Impress me. How much can you get? Is there a lot on in the boathouse? Sorry, Ted. That's not my idea of big buck. All right, Sean, what amount did you have in mind? Don't be ridiculous. That's absurd. What are you all doing in here? <laughs> well, uh, thank you. Anything to add about Dixie's involvement in this. And I'll personally give you a one-way ticket to the hospital. You just try me. In the meantime, you want more money? Just name your price. I think I'll have to sleep on it. No, I can't take it. No, 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 no. Oh. Wait, wait. Listen. What? Did you hear that? No. Oh, I heard something. What is it? Damn it. Sad up. Can't come this way. All right, who's in here? Just me, boss. Sean. You see those guys run? No, what guys? Well, I, I, I spotted some teenagers in here, and that su surprised them. I'm the hoodlums. Did you recognize any of them? No, I'm afraid not. They were all wearing Halloween masks. I, I got this one off, but the, the guy ran so fast I couldn't see his face. Any damage? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll check around and see. Well, you're on the ball, Sean. I appreciate that. It's just part of my job. It's been a very long day. You look tired. Oh, I'm beat. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll lock up and everything, and you go on back up to the house. Thank you, Sean. I'll take you up on that. Maybe I should get some dogs, like a court with Pit bulls. Get out. Get out. Some dogs. Nice going. Yeah, I'm sure you give it away. Oh, Sean's on our side, isn't he? Hey, get your hands off of me. I didn't keep my mouth shut to protect you guys. No? No. I'm in this for me. Let's get that straight. Why didn't you just lead him to us? Well, let me put it this way. Your ex-husband's a little bit volatile. If he'd seen us all in here together, he'd gotten the wrong idea. And then I would have lost my job or even worse. He's in Chandler's pocket. Forget using him. Hey, the man pays very well. I like the lifestyle, but that doesn't mean I'm not a free agent. What about our deal? Are you interested? Maybe. But before I make my decision, I want to uh, make sure that you can deliver what you say you can. Now, you guys... Uh, Lock up before you leave and turn out the lights, kids. Well, hi, Mr. Sloan. Dixie, I thought the whole family was home for the evening. No, no, we were just going for a light walk. Uh, would you like me to ask Margaret to make you a cup of tea? No, no, that's okay, thanks. No, but I'd like you to get Palmer down here. Tell him I want to see him pronto. Oh, I'm sorry, but Mr. Cortland has turned in. Well, I'm sorry, you'll just have to turn him out. Ah, uh, Tad, this is not really going about the right way to get on his good side. You know, he's going to be a little mad. Yes, he certainly is. One can only hope. Nonetheless, Mr. Stone, I'm afraid I have to ask you to do it. Please. Very well. But on your own head be it. I agree. And you. Time for you to go to bed. Mm -hmm. 